You're listening to Aligned and Unfiltered with Daniela, Demi, and Ness. We're making spirituality real, raw, and relatable. Hello, hello. Hey. We're back. We are back. Happy end of the year. <sighs> Happy end of like, this has been 50 years rolled in one. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Seriously, so much has changed. So much. Mm. Are we going to do a check-in? Have we done one for a we while? We haven't done one in ages. I, I was actually just thinking that yeah. before. Yeah. I feel like we communicated that. Mm, <laughs> we did. All right, let's do a check-in. Let's do a check-in because it's been a while. I'm going to start. Um, and now I didn't prep anything. So <laughs> real raw check-in. What's been going on? I, I know you two know this, but I picked up a really cool little like um what do I even call this like fun side thing to do during the day that I don't want to call work hobby it's not gig mm, a gig a gig it's a a gig gig. yeah Yeah. it's fun um to help out with some wellness events and it's been fucking fun like it's been so good to rock up to something connect with people and I'm not someone who likes to talk to people naturally like it takes me a while (laughs) to warm up but I've been able to meet so many people and take myself out on so many little Daniela dates in between and come home, not have the stress of packing orders or worrying about fucking boxes arriving on time before Christmas or et cetera, et cetera. Like it's been the first time in a very, very long time. I would say like before teaching time. So at least eight or nine years in total where I've been able to come home completely disconnected from whatever it was that I did in the day and be like, what do I feel like doing right now? Oh, oh my God. Freedom. Like what freedom? What freedom. fucking freedom? That's how life is supposed to be. Lived. Oh my God. Like how fun. I feel like I've done so many fun things over the past few, no, not even weeks. It's been like a solid month and a half of doing fun things for the sake of fun. Yeah. Mm. And like, so I feel like myself, I feel so Daniela right now oh so good yeah so that's been that's been really really fun and unexpected um and what else I feel like I've signed up for like a zillion different freaking courses oh my god like this diploma that diploma like cycle this cycle that um but I'm really excited to be able to learn again because I feel like I kind of switched that off for a while because my my brain was just at capacity and I couldn't take on anything at all there was no space or room because I wasn't, you know, making that space, I guess, but I'm friggin' pumped to learn new shit and build upon what is already existing there as well. So I've been studying, which is cool. That's the first time in 10 years. And I think that's it. And I've been reading a lot, which I always do, but yeah, I've just been enjoying life guys. Like things are good. You know what you've been doing? What? You've been nurturing your Sag moon. (sighs) <sighs> she's happy mm. doing things for fun and expanding your horizons oh, and I'm learning ha- I'm having regrets over not ordering the Sagittarius cocktail last night oh yum it's fine it's fine it's fine no regrets I'll just go back we'll but go yeah. back yeah <laughs> bottomless brunch yum oh. oh that's another update is that like my obsession for pastries <laughs> has freaking tripled during this time and now I'm on the hunt from like cafe to cafe to find the good ones have you like done like a like a (sighs) like research on like best pastries in Sydney I stalk Instagram pictures first okay and then I wait to see what's like what people are talking about the most Mm. so far my favorite has been threefold pastry in Parramatta Mm. holy shit the croissants are wild did you know it takes three days to make a croissant Yes, yeah, because you, you told, told us. us. Oh, okay. So like, this is a fun <laughs> fact that I tell everyone now. I'm like, hey, did you know? <laughs> Just need to appreciate it that little bit more. Oh my God. Yes. Anyway, that's it. That's me up to date. I'm fucking happy. I love that. Yay. Life. <laughs> oh my gosh. We got tattoos yesterday. We did. It was fun. Yeah, that's new. I didn't. Dad, if you're listening, <laughs> I did not get a tattoo. Your daughter, Demi, did not get another tattoo. Can Just confirm. in case you were wondering. <laughs> As the elder in the group, I can confirm she yes. did not. She was she responsibly took herself home to, and she, went to bed. Yeah, early as well. You did. Early, early. You did. She left the party. Yeah. And because we are such supportive friends, we 
told her how proud we were yeah. for honoring her energy. <laughs> we weren't like, don't be a bitch. Yeah, no. <laughs> Celebrating you for honoring yourself, Dem. <laughs> have a good sleep. <laughs> and that I did. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right, I'm done. Okay. Me. You. What's new? <laughs> I feel like everything but not a lot at the same time. Yeah. I, I Yeah, I recently, like, as I started um, – I guess like getting clear on my intentions for next year and putting in a game plan, as you guys would both know, I got really fucking overwhelmed real quick. Like just thinking about all the things going on next year, all the things I want to do as well as like the rest of my life that's going on next Mm -hmm. year. So I was like, I don't know. I don't know. Time's weird, but I don't know if it was last week or the week before or whatever. I was like really overwhelmed and feeling pretty stressed and anxious but yeah, I've managed to like move through that and now I'm feeling good. I don't know. I feel I feel very like airy these last few days. Like, I don't know. I'm kind of like, <laughs> oh, just go with the flow. I can't be fucked to think about much, to be honest. But That's okay. I'm, I'm really excited for next year. I also have like enrolled myself into a few courses to, you know, expand my skill set, which I'm really fucking excited for. Um, yeah, that's me. Love it. Yeah. That's I'm just living. <laughs> I'm just, just living. vibing day I'm by just day. Literally day by day. That's it. I wake up. I eat. <laughs> I have I have a big glass of water. I go sit in the sun. Look after a little human. Yeah, we just chill together. I either get laughed at or get screamed at because we're at that toddler stage, which is great. You're also bringing up a mini genius. Can mm, we just like make yeah. that really clear? Holy shit. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. That's it. I'm, I'm actually not doing anything. I'm just chilling, honestly. And it is great. I got a tattoo last night as you well. You enrolled for courses as I well? I did enroll for courses as well, but for seven. <laughs> oh my God. That's, that's really? That's I outrageousness. Um, <laughs> I'm stressing. Don't you guys remember you were saying, oh, but it's like nine for the price of one. <laughs> so yeah. We took advantage of those black. You remember, yeah. the, remember the episode that we did that's like, don't buy things you don't need to. I bought seven courses. Oh, <laughs> but though, that's that's an but investment. It is an investment because yeah. watch out for when your girl starts doing some wild things. Um, I'm I'm doing a past life regression course at the moment, which I'm loving. Oh my god! Um, yeah, everything but nothing. I'm t- I've taken time away from. I was about to say readings by Ness, but I'm nope. The soul <laughs> collectiveness. I've taken like a little bit of a step back. Um, in terms of services and everything. So that will be good next year getting back into it. I'm going to be so much more chill and present in the moment, which is what I needed. And that's it. Like I have nothing to say because I'm just, I'm literally just living, living day by day and I love it. Oh my God. I wake up and I'm like, dream. what am I going to do today? Yeah. Like, let's go to the beach. Cool. Okay. Again, Done. freedom. Yeah. Freedom. As I always say, more life. That's it. Mm. Mm. Love that. Yeah. Cool. All right. Um, <laughs> this episode, yes. in case anyone was wondering, this episode is fuck your New Year's resolutions. Oh, my God. Yes. Fuck them. I'm titling that as well. That is what it is called. Yeah. Because really, fuck your New Year's resolutions. What is the point of it? We're going to go into that now. Yeah. <laughs> we'll start with why we're saying that. Yeah. You're probably like, oh, what? Excuse what? me. Give us some warning. They're these, like, these girls are always talking about manifestation. Yeah. yeah. Why fuck your news? 29. These girls are always 31. talking about setting intention. <laughs> yeah. This is literally like three <laughs> days before the new year that this will be coming out. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Also, if you if you've already started the process of <laughs> <laughs> fuck it, <laughs> We're not meaning to trigger, just yeah, hear no. us out. Yeah. You you'll know why in a minute. Yeah. Strap him. All right. All right, Demi, you start us off because I can't see the list from here. That's okay. So basically the reason we're saying this and this is the topic of today (laughs) is because we feel like New Year's resolutions can be a bit problematic and they're not very sustainable. Mm. Oh, that's a good way of putting it. They're they're not not sustainable. And like how I see it is when we – in the past when I have set New Year's resolutions like pre-understanding – everything that I do now it was very much like 
fixed mindset and perfectionism. That yeah. is what drove my New Year's resolution. This is a problem I have and this is what I need to fix it. And this is what I'm going to do next year. And I'm not going to allow for mistakes or being a human. And yeah, I'm going to crush it. And then a week later, I've fallen off the bandbag- bandwagon and be like, oh, well, oh, fuck it whatever yeah. I ruined it now I ruined it now it's done it's too late now it's too late now <laughs> yeah, or so. either that or just completely forgetting about yeah. it yeah 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 so if we go back to it have a think about when you have set new year's resolutions how do you do it like what do you do do you actually sit there and force yourself to come up with a list of things that you want to do for the year ahead do you force yourself and go all right, next year, new year, new me. I'm going oh, oh, I fucking hate that. I fucking hate that. I know that. I said it and it came out of my mouth and I was like, ooh. I just looked at you. I'm like, why did you say that? Is she being smart? Or like, <laughs> no, I'm giving an example of what people say. They do, they do. Everyone this is what says people it. says. They get right, they go, new year, new me. This is what I'm going to be doing next year. I'm going to have like hot girl summer throughout the whole year. Yeah. It's going to be winter. I'm going to have my hot girl summer body. I'm going to be like, I'm going to, I'm going to start off the year. I'm going to lose. 10 kilos I'm going to work out every single day I am going to wake up early every single morning and I am going to go to bed earlier and you know they just blah 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 yeah an ongoing list of things that you think you need to do to be fulfilled or to be happy when really there's no or to what you're actually saying like do you look around and see what everybody else is oh doing God, that and then, literally just came to mind now yeah. it's like are you the things that you're saying are your new year's resolutions are you saying the things that you know you can say aloud to people and they'll be like oh yeah me too yeah it's it's all mm. societal pressure that's what it is because, because yeah because yeah, the real resolutions like if we actually look within and be like what intentions do I have for myself that I want to follow through with sometimes that's the stuff you don't really want to share with people yeah you know what I mean Fucking so no. it's like the stuff that you say out loud like this is this is what I'm this is my new year's resolution uh, that thing that you said are you just saying that because then your friends will be like oh that resonates mm. like yeah. okay I hear you but is it real? Is it what you want? Mm. Have you asked yourself that? Yeah. So I think that if if we were to give a tip today, or just one amongst the many that's going to come, <laughs> is that if you're looking to set a New Year's resolution, what's what's your intention behind doing that? Are you doing it because you want to? Are you doing it because you feel pressure to because everyone else is doing a New Year's resolution? Mm. What is actually your intention? Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. What's your reasoning? What's your reasoning? Because if you don't have a strong why, how are you going to follow through when the inevitable challenges come up? Because they will. And and even that is like, what's your intention and what are you planning to do to take steps forward? Mm -hmm. Like you can't just say, this is what I want and then sit there and twiddle your thumbs waiting. Like. Something needs to ha- – you need to allow yourself to step forward and, and do something to get closer towards that thing. Like are you willing to commit to that as well? Mm. I think we really need to be honest with ourselves when – well, whenever we set intentions, you need to be really honest with yourself because you're the only one who will be able to follow through. Yep, definitely. Yep. No one's doing it for you. You're doing yeah. it. Yeah. You've got to hold yourself accountable. This mm. is with everything in life really. Yeah, I mean, really. This is the other thing, yeah. right? We know what Ness is going to say about time, right? Yeah. It doesn't exist. Time doesn't exist. Why do you have to wait until the beginning of a year? Yeah. Why do you have to wait until the year clocks over Mm. to start doing what it is that you want to do, Mm. to start fulfilling those goals? Yeah. Like why does it have to be on the first of the first? Or the start of the month or the start of a week? Like every day is a fresh opportunity. Start of the day. Every like moment is a fresh opportunity. Every single second, every single moment you yeah. have the chance to start over. Oh my gosh, this just reminded me of a quote. Yeah. I don't know the quote. I'm probably going to butcher it. But something about if, you know, if you had, I don't remember the exact number, but 80 something thousand dollars mm. and somebody stole ten dollars from you, are you going to worry about that ten dollars or are you going to focus on the 80 something whatever that you've got left over Mm, and then putting that in changing that 
into, well, there are actually 80,000 whatever, or maybe it's 800,000. I'm going to find the quote and we're going to share it, but there are 800 whatever seconds in a day. If somebody ruins one moment for you, are you going to allow that to ruin the rest of your day? Or are you going to fixate on that one moment in time? Mm, This is good. Yeah, right. So it's like if, if you start off on the wrong foot on a day, then why are you going to let that little r- moment ruin the rest of the entire day for you? It's the power of choice. Exactly right. Mm. Yeah. Focus on what you still have ahead of you. Focus on what you still got in this present moment. Yeah. So it doesn't have to be, oh, I've got to wait until New Year's to start my resolutions and start ticking off my goals. I mean, this episode's coming out two days before <laughs> New Year's, but, you know, for future reference. Yeah. I mean, start right now. The second you listen to this episode, go mm. and write your list. Get your notebook out. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Mm, food for thought. Yeah. yeah. I love that. When I read that, I was like, oh, far out. That hits. That's so true. Yeah, we'll need to find that. That's relatable. Yeah. In saying all of this, it is natural as humans that when we do like a new year is a new cycle at the end of the day. It of is. Because co- of society. Yes. I know time doesn't exist, <laughs> but because like the way we're society focusing works. on like, yeah, as yeah. our yeah. human experience. Yeah, our then, human experience. Yeah. Yeah. Every year is a new cycle, right? So yeah. if you are wanting to set intentions for this new cycle, this is what we would suggest doing. And it's taking manifestation principles and putting it into practice. So think about what what are your intentions for your new year? What What is it that you're wanting to achieve in the new year? Based on that, what do you need to work through to actually get there? So it, if, like, let's say for me, for example, one of my intentions this year was to wake up early and like make the most of my day. I knew that in order to do that, I would have to start going to bed earlier. And I'm like, okay, well, that's something that I struggle with because I'm naturally a night owl. Okay, well, what can I do to support me doing that? It's turning off my phone at a certain time or putting putting the sleep thing off. Why, it's why going you home instead of getting tattoos. <laughs> oh my- <laughs> you Honestly, usually I would have been like, oh yeah, like let's go depending on where I'm at in the month. Last night I was just like, nah. Literally, what <laughs> was my don't. first question to you? I'm like, yeah. what day are you on right now? I'm like, and you said 20. I'm like, you don't need to, don't need to finish the sentence. Yeah. Like, you're fine. Like, I was go like, you home. know what? I don't want to be a buzzkill. I'm going to go home. Um, oh, and then like going home and like having cuddles on the couch with Vinny. I was oh, like, oh, oh my God. Mm. Yeah. Say no more. Yeah. It's fine. Um, what was I saying? <laughs> um, Hold on. Rewind. <laughs> Oh, you going, to, going to sleep to go earlier, to yeah. mm, take a, mm. not being on my phone late, all these things. And so I was like, okay, well, if this is my intention and I know what's going to, like, I know what I'm going to have to work through to get there, what are my actions going to be on a day-to-day basis so that I can actually achieve that and it's attainable rather than me being like, okay, well, like, this is what I'm going to do and I have no plan, but I'm still going to expect myself to do it. Yeah. And you've actually, you've like absolutely killed that goal. Yeah. No, I, I did that in January. Yeah. It's a habit and now. now it's, it's yeah, not, exactly. It, it's it, a habit. It was a habit yeah. in January because I was like, okay, I actually have a game plan. Yeah. yeah. And I'm not perfect all the time. There's going to be yeah. nights where... I get intuitive downloads and I'm working late and then I wake up a bit later the next morning yeah. and I'm back on track the next day. Yeah. Like, that's and that's not a so You don't fine. punish yourself no. because you you like moved a little bit off that path that you've created for yourself. No, we're human. Yeah. There's no point in punishing yourself yeah. for being a human. And there's no point in saying, oh, now that I've stuffed up once, I've got to throw the whole thing out the window. No. Oh like God, it doesn't no. work like Choose that. Choose again. Yeah. Choose. And – how long does it take to form a habit? I think they say it takes 28 days to form a habit. Everyone says something different. Depending but I think, on... Uh, and I guess it would also depend on like how far off the habit you are. Yeah. I've heard 28 days. I've heard 66 days. I've wow. heard three months. I don't know. I, don't, I feel like everyone's, everyone's different. Yeah. Well, whatever it is, it takes a number of days to form a habit. Yeah. <laughs> so just follow through each and every day take it day by day take Mm. it step by step you don't have to look at you know this is where I want to be at the end of the year oh my god how am I going to get there yeah that's overwhelming yeah Yeah, absolutely you take a day by day step you make decisions every single day Mm. remembering your why Mm. and that's it you've got it and if it takes you know having your vision board up in front of you if it takes post-it notes all over your wall like whatever it takes for you to remember your why have it there have it visible sometimes at the end of the night what I do is I'll lie in bed and when you know those days that you have and you're like what the fuck did I do today like what did I did I 
Like those days you think are super unproductive and you're like, I did nothing today. And you get like a slightly annoyed with yourself because it might've been a day that you had stuff planned to do. So I've gotten into this habit of when I'm lying in bed, I'm like, okay, what did I do today that served myself? And I go through to say like, and there's always stuff that I'm doing to serve myself. So I, I list that and I'm like, okay, did I take any steps forward towards any of the goals that I've set for myself? And if I haven't taken any steps forward, I'm like, that's okay. Tomorrow is a fresh day. What's one thing I can do tomorrow? One tiny step that's going to get me a little bit closer. Mm, and then I preset it. that intention of that one little thing. And it's never massive. It's always really simple. And then the next day when I do it, because it's simple and I said it, I'm like, okay, let's celebrate this. Like go you for following through with that. You're one step closer. Yeah. But you even thinking about that is creating it mm, okay. because your thoughts create your reality. Yeah. So you're fair. thinking about it. You're following through. You, you've you created that for yourself. Mm. So it can be as simple as pre-plan it. Imagine it in your head. What does it look like? What are you going to do to get closer? Following through. Yeah. That's it. I think, you know, sometimes when people have this long ass list of stuff that like I need to do or like scrap the long list and simplify it to, you know, two things or, you know, one to three, max, max three of the, this is what I ideally would like to get through or achieve or like Mm. whatever the word is tomorrow in order to get closer to, but the whole list, scrap it. Like that list should be spread over a long period of time. Yeah. Yeah. We're not like, productivity machines. We're not. We're not. And also you don't know what's going to pop up in your day. Like mm-hmm. so many uncontrollables out there. Yeah. And schedule in time for rest. And procrastination. <laughs> just rest. Still. Just rest. <laughs> yeah. So rest is procrastination then in my in my books. <laughs> no, mm. rest is. Rest is rest. Rest is deserved. Oh, yeah. 100%. Oh, you don't need to tell me that. <laughs> I fucking like, know. Procrast- <laughs> like, I know you know like the the meaningless stuff that you that people do to fill their time it's like I enjoy that stuff mm. but like I want to make sure if I'm doing that stuff it's not taking over my whole fucking day so it's like okay if you give yourself x amount of time to do that the meaning the meaningless stuff that's serving for me yeah, that's fair that's fair not me. If you say go rest, you won't see me for another month. Yeah. <laughs> Catch you later. Don't have to ask me twice. Uh, love a good nap. Ugh. All right. What's next on the list? I feel like we need to like get back on track. No, we've. Do you know we've what? I feel like we are on track. Yeah. I feel like this is going to be a short, sweet to the point episode. Well, we've literally okay. ticked off every like all the notes that we yeah. have. Yeah, us. Mention. Yeah. Amazing. It's the end of the year. We're just going to, you know. Did we say practical ways of like, like if, if we want to get down to the principles so that you can understand how to apply it for yourself, step one, what's your intention for next year? What is your intention? Not society's intention, not your mum's intention, not your friend's <laughs> intention. What's your intention? Sorry, Savage coming out here. What's your intention? What, what steps do you need to take or what do you need to, I guess, I don't want to say overcome, but what challenges do you see coming up for yourself? Because that, like, know know yourself, be self-aware. So what challenges do you think are going to come up? What do you need to be doing on a day-to-day basis? If you look at every day as if it's a step on a ladder, what do you need to be doing every day in order to sustainably achieve that? And how are you going to know when you've, you've achieved that intention? I think that's that's it. That's a good way of putting it. And one more thing that I forgot that I wanted to say. Yeah. Actually take a minute to think about all of the New Year's resolutions that you've already set for yourself in the past, over the past couple of years, however long. Have you actually followed through with them? Mm. And if you haven't, how did you feel at the end of the year looking back at the beginning? Because in in hindsight, like when we take a step back and go – oh, you know, I wanted to do this, this and this this year and I didn't do any of that, you feel disappointment. But actually, what did you achieve in the year? Mm. Because you actually achieved so much. Yeah. You did so much. You you have grown. You have created. You have 
been inspired and inspired others. You've rested. You've done all of the things that you as a human have needed to do. Even through the challenging moments, even through the most difficult moments, there has been growth. Mm. So if you're feeling like, you know, it's the end of the year now, it can be a really bittersweet time for a lot of people. But if you're feeling like you're looking at the start of the year and going, oh, I didn't do this, this and this, look at what you did do. Mm, Yeah. I love that. Yeah. Like that's that's really important because if you're starting off the year, if you're starting off with, oh, New Year's resolutions and you're feeling really, really heavy in your chest about what you feel like you didn't achieve, you're already starting off from a place of, I don't, we don't like to use the word negativity, but for lack of a better word, you're already starting off with that kind of or stagnant, heavy energy within you. So instead, try looking at everything you did let that feeling of pride and joy and just being grateful for what you've done, let that overtake you, overcome you, let that be felt within and set your intentions with that feeling, knowing that you've already killed it this year. Mm. Yeah, I think that's really important as well when you're thinking about how this time of year, there are so many people that are going to be posting their like big achievements and like this and this happened this year and they'll be celebrating themselves, which is totally fine. Like we all do that, it's beautiful to see. But if you're seeing all of that pop up and it's making you feel a certain way, it's like, oh, well, exactly going into that thought of what did I do? I have nothing to post that's like Insta worthy or like whatever. Hold on a second. Progress forward doesn't always look like movement forward. Mm. So it's not linear. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. You can be staying in the same position throughout the year. No, I'm not talking about work. I'm talking about like life, life. And in that same position, you could have, become closer to yourself on a certain level because you've learned more about you what you like what you dislike you could have I'm literally I've got this post in my mind that I saw the other day I actually feel like I want to go find it now um a post which talks about today I did nothing but then she lists all the stuff that she did do and it's not the stereotypical I did this and this and look how productive I am it's like I enjoyed being out in the sun I cuddled my dog I picked some flowers from my garden like those are beautiful things like that Mm, is connection that is stuff so don't feel like or not telling you how to feel but um sometimes with comparison it's like well we can only celebrate these like big things that we've achieved but it's not like that at all it's like you don't have to make some huge progress forward in order to grow within Mm. yeah um this is something else that I want to share like we were we were just about to wrap up the episode but fuck it let's keep talking because I just thought of something else that I wanted to share Um, I had a moment this year where I was feeling really, 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 really low and I was looking at other people doing incredible things and it wasn't that I wasn't, it wasn't that I wasn't feeling happy for them because I was like, go you, look at you doing all this amazing stuff. It was that I was feeling sad for myself because I was like, well, I don't do anything like that and, you know, all I do is work and not that I'm not grateful for working, but you want to have, you want to experience life. Yeah. What I did, and I've, I've told you guys this so many times, but what I did was I started actually making an effort to record snippets of my day, mm. right? Like little snippets, anything that made me happy, anything that made me smile, even if it was as simple as a two-second video of the sun, like a two-second video of me on the grass eating some fruit with my daughter, like whatever it would have been, I've been taking little snippets and over the past like, I don't know, six, seven weeks, I've been putting those snippets together into videos and I'm like, holy shit, I do so much. That Mm. makes me happy. That gives you joy. And that brings joy into my life. So if you're feeling like you've gotten to the the end of the year and you haven't um, achieved anything, Maybe it might be a good idea to actually start the new year with an intention if this sits right with you, but starting the new year with an intention to actually make an effort to firstly be more present in each moment and to secondly actually take the opportunity to record what you're doing in life. Mm. And it doesn't have to be big moments, you know, traveling overseas or um, 
going to concerts. Like it doesn't have to be those big moments, just the little things. If you feel that you're really, really, really happy in a moment, take a photo of it, take a quick little video, put it together or don't, but you've got it there to reflect on. And when you're feeling like you haven't accomplished anything, go back and have a look and look at how much you've done. Like it's just, it's the most simple thing, but it brings so much joy. Yeah. Oh my God. We should literally do a hashtag, my snippets of joy. And like oh. every time we post our, cause we do our photo drops or oh. our like video drops of the month, hashtag that, like my snippet of joy. Beautiful. And then start to see how there's so much that there's is. There's so much. Yeah. There's so much. So you don't have to actually feel like, you know, you've, You've done massive things every yeah. single year. If that's one of your goals, cool. great. Enjoy it. It's going to happen because you're going to manifest the shit out of it and you're going to do it, taking aligned action. Mm. But remember that you don't have to be doing the huge things to have done something. No, not at all. I found the post. Can I quickly read it? Yeah. You sure can. So this is from Rust Rituals. That's the handle. And the top of the post says, I've done nothing today. Nothing except. Four loads of washing, hung out to dry in the glorious sun, a soapy sink of dishes humming to Fleetwood Mac, read pages upon pages of my new book, kissed my puppy good morning, curled up on the couch with the love of my life, made a cup of tea, journaled my dreams, drank a herbal potion, checked on my calendulas, listened to the breeze and my wine and my wind chimes tango. Like. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. That's beautiful. And that's life. Yes, that's life. Yeah. So fuck your New Year's resolutions. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. New Year's intentions, not New Year's resolutions. Yes. Ooh, I like that. Yeah. I like mm. that. Yeah. <sighs> okay. I think that's a perfect place to leave it. Let's yeah. um let's lean into our Oh, reflection actually, question. sorry, one Ooh, more let's thing. Not. <laughs> one more thing. And it came to my head, but I didn't want to interrupt you guys before. Please, for the love of God. Don't keep on doing the same thing every year and expecting a different result. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. That's it from me. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And. Yeah. And. Yes. Please (laughs) celebrate all that you did. And if you're feeling like this year was a shit show, firstly, know that you weren't alone. There were so many people that were feeling it. Join the club. (laughs) the, The collective energy has been wild. And know that you made it through yeah Yeah. you have overcome 100 percent of your most difficult days survived and thrived without you even realizing yeah Mm -hmm. so just know that you're gonna do amazing things next year Mm -hmm. and that's it all right i think it's perfect oh my god (laughs) how many times i've (laughs) muted this fucking outro we will be back next week on the 5th of january so we're starting the new year with an episode on the first week back that's what i wanted to say okay because that was important okay oh my god one last thing no i'm kidding i'm kidding i'm kidding i'm going to flip my fucking switch at this point wait one more thing we're gonna we're gonna see you at connect in oh yeah we have like multiple things that we need to talk about here hold on oh now now she's allowed yeah Yeah. okay so going into new year talk about your vision boards uh damn i feel like you've got the words for this oh do i uh i don't know okay it's not me okay vision boarding workshop yeah we're running this daniela and i are running this with the intention of helping people to start i'm using the word intentional but with the intention to start the year intentionally Mm. i've shared before i froth over a vision boarding Mm. ritual (laughs) i even 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 though i do this like what every six months i find that creating a vision board really helps me keep my vision alive throughout the year and is a constant reminder of what I'm working towards. So what we're going to be doing during the workshop is applying manifestation principles to a vision boarding ritual while also 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 having like meditations and tapping into our future self and all of that good stuff. That'll be wrapped up into a three-hour mm. three hour three workshop hour. to yeah. help you to – Start your year with intention. Mm. In then, a fun, creative way as yeah, well. Yeah, I'm so fucking <laughs> excited. I'm so excited. Mm. And then and the three of food. us. And there is going to be food. There is going to be food. <laughs> it's, it's very Don't important. Forget. It's Don't forget. Of course. 
And then the three of us are going to be having our Connect Melbourne event mm-hmm. in February. Oh, that's coming up. I'm excited. <gasps> oh, my God. We have I, so much in store for that. We have so much planned. Oh. I know we've said this before. Yeah. And we can continue to say it. Thinking about our last Connect event. Yeah. I mm. can't. No, I'm so excited to like just be there. Yeah. Yeah. A hundred percent. So excited. I, I don't even think we need to say any words on it because yeah. I'm sure you, that everybody that's listening will feel, you can feel it. how powerful it's going to be. But if you want more details, link is in our bio. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the, I'll, I'll <laughs> they're put, like, oh my God, cliffhanger. I'll put, I'll put all of the details in the show notes. Oh, so yeah, if you course. like give it a scroll down on this episode, you'll see yeah. um, everything you need to to check out what's going on for all of us there's all of our individual handles plus there'll be a link for the connect um landing page so you can get all the information um and for create i went blank i'm like what do we call it we really like to stick to the c's yeah we do um to create and connect both will be in the show notes and i think can i press the outro yeah, hold on, hold okay. on. if you can guess what ness is eating right now. oh we're filming this so i can't even say that but mm, there's no prize. <laughs> <laughs> it's an apple, guys. It's an apple. <laughs> With peanut butter. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to make it fun. I'm, I looked over. I'm like, oh, we're literally filming this. <laughs> okay, that's it. I'm wrapping it up. I'm making the decision. Thank you for the year. Okay, bye. Love you all.